A TikToker has been causing a lot of waves by telling employers not to hire anyone who includes their pronouns on their resume. It's like just announcing you're going to be a problem, a pain, you're going to ruin the company, ruin the corporate culture. Listen to this TikToker prove why you should never hire a pronoun person and put in the comments if you would ever hire a pronoun person to work at your company. So if I was like hiring and I saw pronouns, here's what I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume you're obviously very liberal. So I'm going to assume you're one of those people that um, is super far left. Um, hey, I'm going to assume you're not a very hard worker. Um, you are either a female or you're a probably not straight guy. So everything in the office is going to have to cater to you, your feelings, your needs, and your emotions. So everyone around you is not going to be able to be themselves and walk on eggshells. Why would anyone want someone like you, unless everyone's like you, in a work environment? You're going to be the laziest person. You're going to be the most entitled, complain the most, and I think you're going to be the first to sue. So shocker that pronouns weren't helping you guys. Sorry, did I, is there anything I missed there? I think you nailed it, sweetheart. You did a fantastic job, and you look good doing it. Now, with that said... Fakebook, one of the most far radical left companies on earth, you know, obviously the people at the top are capitalist, but they want all the underlings to be communists so that they can stay in power. And these losers just start working for the man. No thoughts of their own. Here's a little health care. Here's a minimum wage. Here's a you can go down the slide every day. Well, guess what? The fit hit the shan when Biden got in office. The economy's no longer pumping. They've really pushed hard for the fake lockdown, for the fake boosty boost problem. So now it's time to pay the piper. A lot of inflation, a lot of expenses going up. A lot of companies tightening their belt. Nobody needs a radical woke leftist when the economy is going through a tough time. Being a radical leftist is a premier luxurious privilege. So radical leftists are getting fired left and right by Big Daddy Facebook. Who would have guessed Facebook will be firing 10,000 woke jokes and that is what they deserve. Here's one crying about out it. That says Google and Meta overhired thousands of employees who do fake work. Love that creator. Go follow her if you're not following her. But I want to add a little bit more context. My name is Britt and I didn't sign the Meta severance so I can talk about this. Um, Meta, working at Meta was really weird. I was hired in April 2022. Three days after I was hired, uh, we were asked to take a diversity survey. Everyone else that I worked with got to work on stuff, but I didn't. So I am one of those employees that was kind of hired into a really strange position where they immediately put me into a group of individuals that was not working. I mean, like we were just sitting there. We had to basically, like she said, you had to fight to find work. Um, it was a very strange environment and it kind of seemed that Meta was hiring people so that other companies couldn't have us. And then they were just kind of like, hoarding us like Pokemon cards. I don't know. But it was, yeah, it was a very strange time to work there. Pokemon and Pokewoman. Well, we have heard from two ladies who actually have a brain on their shoulders. I am willing to bet if they knew about the show, they would be fans of the right show. Listen up, woke jokes. Being a radical leftist is a luxury. It is a privilege. And when the economy goes rough, you get canned. Back to mama's house. I think you deserve it. Facebook. Instagram, YouTube, they clamp down on speech they don't want to hear. They start fights, start wars, ruin careers, and then when they get fired, they want us to feel so sad. But no, this is called karma, and I'm not gone, but you are. So glad. Hope more of you get fired, too. We'll be right back with a whole lot more of The Right Show. I'm not petty. Seriously, I'm not petty.